so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be covering problem c that is minimum notation from round 823 uh, and i will also make a video on problem b because i think problem b was much harder so uh, stay tuned for that as well and let's start with problem c in this one in the problem uh, you have been given a string s of size n where n is up to 10 to the power 5 right and string s is only made up of numbers for example you can have s equal to 3 4 2 1 7 0 right here you have s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 s6 right so you have a string s that is made up of only numbers and s is s has numbers from 0 to 9 right so that is the input and then you have been defined an operation in one operation you can choose any number si from string s so you can and choose any number si and remove s and remove it so after removing si you can add minimum of si plus 1 comma 9 anywhere in string s so that is the operation i hope it is clear so basically you can remove any number from the string and then add si plus 1 comma 9 anywhere in s you want to right for example here you can take 3 remove 3 right as you have removed 3 now you can add minimum of 4 comma 9 right as minimum of 4 comma 9 is 4 so now you can add 4 anywhere then we for example we can remove this 3 and then add 4 at the end right so that is the operation but for example if you have a 9 and if you remove 9 then you have to add minimum of 9 plus 1 comma 9 so it is equal to 9 itself so after removing a 9 you can only add 9 right so that is what the operation means so you can remove any number si and then add minimum of si plus 1 comma 9 anywhere in the string s right so that is the operation so you can use this operation any number of times and right? you have to find the lexicographically minimal string that you can obtain right so you have been given s you can op, uh, apply any number of operations and then you have to find the lexicographically lexicographically minimal string that you can form right let's call that string s dash right so after applying some operations on s you will get a new string s dash and you have to find the lexicographically minimal string s dash that you can obtain after applying any number of operations so that is the problem so how can we solve this so let's start with the observations right the only observation that you need is uh, that it is never optimal it is never optimal to apply operation on minimum on minimal numbers Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, I can take some string s to show you an example, right? For example, let's say you have a string s and it has, let's say, some numbers, then a zero, then some numbers, then a zero, and then some numbers, and then some zero, right? Then let's call this z one, let's call this z two, let's call it z three, right? So it has, let's say, three zeros only. Uh, so what is the optimal string that you can have if you don't apply operation on these three zeros, right? So if I just apply operation on these numbers. and shift them to the end and shift them to the end your string s will be something like 0 0 0 and then some numbers right and that is when you don't apply operation on any of the zeros uh, but let's say you apply operation on one of the zeros right so let's say you have s right then a 0 then a 0 then a 0 and then something we have z and z2 z3 let's say you apply operation on the following zero and after you apply operation on the following zero as you can see here whenever you apply operation on si right it will always increase to si plus 1 right so after applying operation on this zero it will become 1 so now your string s dash let's call this new string s dash so now your s dash has only two zeros right so even if you rearrange s dash even if you rearrange s dash you will get 0 0 1 and then some numbers right as you can see in in s when you never applied operation on zero you had three zeros in the starting right and in s dash when you applied operation on the zero you got 
right? And as you can easily see here, S is lexicographically smaller than S dash, right? So it is never optimal to apply operation on the minimal number, right? And here the minimum minimal number was zero, right? So it is never optimal to apply operation on the minimal number. And in the following example, the number was zero, right? So if you have your string S, right? You have something like this. You have a zero, you have a zero, right? Then you will never apply operation on these three zeros, right? These three zero zeros will come to the starting, right? And you will apply operation on these numbers to shift them to the end, right? So that is not the only thing, right? After you have thought about zeros, right? You also have to think about ones, right? Because if, they, if there are some zeros here, there will also be some ones after this, right? Let's say you have your string S. Now you have some zeros in the starting, right? Then you have some numbers that you shifted. I don't care about them, right? The numbers that were shifted from these things, I don't care about them, right? Because I can place them anywhere in the string I want to, right? So I will not think about them in the future. So now I have to think about the ones that were after this, right? Because there might be some ones here, right? So now I will repeat the same step again, right? First, the minimal element was zero, right? So first I uh, fix the number of zeros. Now my minimum element is one. Now my minimal element is one. So now I have to think about these ones, right? Because if you uh, think about this again, let's say your string S has only three ones after this, right? So if you don't apply operation on these three ones, your string S will be zero, 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 one, 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 and then something else, right? But if you apply operation on, on any of these ones, your string S dash will look like zero 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 one one two right and then something so as you can easily see your s is less than s dash right so it is also not optimal to apply operation on any of these ones as well right so you will again do the same thing you will take all these elements and shift them to the end so you will have something like s equal to zero 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 one 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 and then some shifted elements right and now you have to think about twos so you will keep repeating the same thing until you get your lexicographically smallest string, right? So that is the approach. And if you want to write it as a solution, you will iterate from all characters. So for character zero up to nine, uh, find last position of character. Let's call it character C. So find last position of character C and shift all the elements that are not C, right? So that will be the approach. And if you guys want to see the code for this, uh, here is the code. So I will keep a map that will store the last index of any number, right? And uh, I will go over all the array, right? And I will store the last index of every number. Then for every letter from zero to nine, if the letter is not in the string, then I'll, I'll just continue. Otherwise I will move up to its last index. And if the element is equal to X, then I will keep that element that is S of current. Otherwise I will do an operation on the number that is, I will do S current plus one, right? Because if the number is not X, then I have to remove X. So I will remove S of current and add S of current plus one. And in the end, I will just print out all the numbers that I have in sorted format. And that is the entire problem. So I can do a dry run on one of the, one of the samples to give you an idea. For example, we can take 04829. We can take uh, 04829. Right, this is a sample. So first, I have to start from x equal to 0 up to 9. So I will start with 0. And I will go up to the last index where I am finding zero, right? So I'm finding zero here and I will remove all the elements that are non-zero. But as you can see, there are no elements, right? So I will do nothing here. Then I will go X equal to one and there is no one in the string. So I, I won't do anything. Then I will go X equal to two. So I will go to the last index where I can see two. So I will go to the following index and I will remove all the elements that are not two, right? So as you can see, four is not two. So I will just remove four and I will keep five. Then I will remove eight and I will keep nine. Right. And then I'll do the same thing for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. And as you can see, there are no such numbers in the string. Right. So I don't have to uh, care about them. 
and then at the end i will go up to nine and there are no numbers that are not nine so i will keep nine right so now my string is zero two nine and i have this five and nine right i removed five and nine so i can place them anywhere so i will just place them in the best possible position so i will do zero two i will place five here and i will place nine here so my answer is zero two five nine nine and that is the answer uh, if you have to go here right zero two five nine so that is the answer so that is the entire solution and if you guys have a doubt feel free to ask in the comments or join my discord server i will be more than happy to answer your doubts there and i will see you guys in the next one with the solution to problem b bye bye also if you guys don't know continuing newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs and the average package is rupees seven lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that yeah, I have coding aati nahi hai, maybe fresher me koi nahi aata hai. The course is over six months long and they will teach you from scratch. So you can still sign up for this. And if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field, this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for. And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly uh, I highly vouch for this. And uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there. So. Yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.